this is mind-boggling. Every year, nearly 13,000 women are diagnosed with cervical cancer. January is Cervical Health Awareness Month, and Dr. Howard Goodman, who's an oncologist who specializes in cervical cancer at Good Samaritan Medical Center, is joining us this morning to talk about this. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. That is, that's, it's, it's incredible that uh, it's the fourth most common type of cancer uh, worldwide, but it is a preventable disease. So what do women or people in general need to know about this? That's correct. You know, certainly, as you noted, there's 13,000 women each year in the United States who mm. develop cervical cancer. But worldwide, it's, it's a much more significant disease process with 500,000 cases each year and 250,000 deaths. To a great degree, it is probably preventable. We know that pap testing is very effective, mm -hmm. not only in finding these cancers early when they're very curable, but also in finding cervical problems when they're at a pre-cancer stage when they're much easier to treat. What can you do to avoid the problem altogether, if that's at all possible, and then uh, I assume that early mm -hmm. treatment is the best thing to do? Right. I mean, clearly early treatment results in a higher cure rate. The pap test gives us the ability to find cervical problems when they're at a pre-cancer level, we can treat the patients much more easily, much less invasive. Mm -hmm. uh, we can preserve fertility, lots of other options. And the other option or the other hope we have now of preventing cervical cancer is the advent of the HPV vaccine, which is technically an antiviral vaccine, but to a great degree, it's really an anti-cancer vaccine. Are there certain ages that people should, women in particular, should be on the lookout for this? Uh, for cervical cancer, we tend to see it uh, women in their 40s to 60s, perhaps. The usual signs that one would see with disease would be abnormal bleeding, whether it's bleeding after sex, whether it's bleeding in between their cycles, which is very heavy cycles. Mm -hmm. But women who have very early disease frequently are completely asymptomatic. And again, that's the importance of annual pap testing. All right, so w what are the treatments for women once they're mm -hmm. diagnosed? Mm -hmm. uh, classically, for cervical cancer, we treat it with radiation therapy and or surgery. Uh, recently, we've added chemotherapy to that as well. More, more recently, we're learning that we can be a little less radical in the treatment of women with earlier disease uh, in the hope that we can preserve fertility and less morbidity. But actually, deaths are actually going down. Yes. Is that correct? That's correct. Why, why is That's that? That's correct. Uh, probably for two reasons. Uh, more awareness of the problem because of programs such, such, mm -hmm. as, such as yours. Uh, more wide widespread use of the pap test screening and hopefully in the future as more women get vaccinated against HPV we'll see again a decrease in the development of a cervical cancer. Well it gives hope. Yeah, absolutely. You know, excellent. I appreciate it. Thank you so